Hi guys, welcome to the 12 Days of Chessmas. Today we're taking on an 800 rated player. So I think this will be maybe the third day. Uh, I'm not recording these in order, so I'm trying to work out. I think this is the third day of, of Chessmas. So in this series, we're going from the very lowest rated of about 500 all the way up to 2000. We're gonna try and get a game with uh, my, the person who gave me a few lessons, uh, Craig, uh, for the finale on the 12th day. So, Caro, do we go for a more complicated game? Or do we go for an exchange and like, I, I think we go for the complicated one. Let's keep pieces on the board and try and uh, outsmart this lower rated player. So not in a mean way, in like an, an instructive way. <laughs> so do we go for this? Just like trading off the piece. Not really sure. This might be a move. Takes, takes. That's like Queen's Gambit-esque. This. Or just... Probably just develop like a knight. This always comes here pretty much, so can't go too far wrong with that. Now I normally go like this, but I'm thinking why don't I spice it up and go here. Try and open up the center. I've got this pawn well defended. The only thing is if they take, you know, this there's some pressure on this pawn maybe if the rooks come over in the future, but you know, got a bit of defense on it. And I think getting my bishop out and trading off one of their central pawns could be good for me in the long run. Uh, so he's having a bit of a think about that one. I also don't even have to... If they take, I don't have to take it back straight away. I can just leave it and see if they're going to... Because often if they try and hold on to this extra pawn here, you can undermine with this move like that. You know, if if takes, you just... You know, you're coming out. like it, It's good. It's good. Uh, so do we just take towards the centre? Or we just leave the tension? Yeah, that's what we do. We leave the tension... Um, thinking that maybe the lower rated player might not be able to handle the pressure, hopefully. Um, so this guy's... Is this a brand new account? I'm a bit... I feel like this guy is... Uh, I thought he was higher rated than 800. No, he's played before. Yeah, so his blitz is 1200. Okay. So his rapid is not... He's... An, hmm, this is misleading. He's never played any rapid, has he? Yeah, okay. Don't know, I see you, Rubik's Cube. I knew you were better. I knew you were better than 800. So this guy's about a 1200, so I might put this to like the fourth day or something instead. Uh, so if I take, I can maybe take here now. Just like open up the bishop. And if I take here and then castle, you know, the rook's not going to be attacking anything on the open file because my king's going to be this way. And, uh, we just damage the structure. Like, there's also this. And how do they even? They block like that. Does that? That probably improves their knight, though, right? If this, this. Take, take. Take. That looks nice as well. This, this, this this is the same result so let's just do it this way uh, just winning this pawn straight away I, I don't even know it, it's such a bad pawn I don't even know if it's a waste of time actually actually attacking it oh, he blocks with the queen I think it was probably better to block with the knight and uh, and then, then you're opening up your bishop Like so now this I don't even know if I want to take that pawn. Here, here, and here. They might go here. Do, do I transform this into an end game yet? I don't know. This and this, my queen always has a nice route back into the into the game because it's a bit. The queen looks a bit silly right now, grabbing this pawn. Okay, so now they open up the bishop. Do I go like this to get here? They just take. I feel like I need to castle. I'm getting that tingling feeling where I, I normally get, you know, some mischief happens where I don't castle soon enough. So, why don't I just? I'm feeling a bit uncomfortable as well right now. My queen is sort of on the edge of the board. Maybe they're going to trap it. So I'm just going to play like a solid move here. 
and uh, just bring my queen back into the fold. Maybe this next. Uh, okay. So if we just develop and defend. Now the knight can move again. It was pinned. Don't like that. Uh, so now castle. Castle coming. Okay, that's a pin. Fair enough. Uh, if takes takes, we're we're fine. If if this this, yeah, I think we can play this move. Kick the bishop. They might do this though. Okay, I, I this. Oh no, that that does work. That does work. That just wins this pawn. Ah, damn it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna keep my structure intact. Maybe go here. Here they, they fork everything, so here. Just hitting the knight. Protecting this square, and we really need to get castled now. Um they've won back that pawn, and actually they're probably better now because they've got a pawn in the center. And this this pawn here didn't really matter. So I definitely play this though now. Defend that pawn and re try and re-establish some sort of like pawn chain because right now it's just can't leave that pawn on his own but I really again I really need to get castled uh, if it is this okay so they castle I castle but my maybe I should have checked these dark squares for any tactics but I think I'm alright maybe I slide my king over maybe <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a bit of that action go. Something like this. And maybe, you know, like, yeah, that sort of thing. Can I slide my rook? Sort of annoying that I've played this pawn move because I'd like to use this square for my rook. Uh but, I mean, there's this, this, this sort of thing. Push, you win the rook. Like, you're threatening mate. There's that, like, motif. Maybe coming up. So they're trying to get to this square here and infiltrate. If I come here to stop that, they get this jump. Ah, I've only got five minutes as well. Um, this, this looks handy. This, and they take, take. Even if they come in, what are they actually doing? If I can get to this square, I look very good there. Let's try that. This, though? This doesn't work. If this, like, the queen is defending, and maybe I just take, take, but then my queen's hit and my knight's hit, it looks uncomfortable. I slide back. All with the idea of going here, but... Yeah, see, this is what I wanted. And I think this looks quite good. Because now I get this square, don't I? Oh, but they win my, they win my knight. Oh lord, oh lord, <laughs> oh lord of chessmas. Uh, right, now we need to we need to start getting a bit getting a bit mental. So this guy, remember, he's not an eight hundred. He's like he's a twelve hundred blitz. So he's probably like a fourteen hundred rapid. People tend to be higher in the rapid. So here, here. Uh, let's try that. I'm just trying to get a bit crazy now. Win some tempo, maybe slide over here. This, this. Queen defends this. They should just like try and like take the open files. And I'm gonna try and do something here. So that stops my rook coming over. This though. That, that. Or just this. Uh, 
This hit in the night? No, because they get that juicy square. I've only got four minutes left and I just need to like complicate stuff now. I'm just going to play here. Try and get this moving. Try and get over here. Set up some threats. So they come in now. I pin the knight. Okay. Maybe this. This. Threatening mate. This, this. Yeah, we're, we're properly losing here. This, this, and uh, what am I doing? Maybe it's a weakness, though. Maybe this is a weakness long term, but I don't have a dark squared bishop to really, really punish it. So they just. Uh, so here. I really want to get my queen here if I can. Um, but this, this, what am I actually doing? Like, how do I ever mate him? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to have to get back, defend the rook. Three minutes left against five. We need to cause some mischief now, guys. Right. Let's look for some... I don't know. We've only got, like, the major pieces. Like, normally when you're looking to complicate and cause some tactics, it's it's like a knight move. Uh... This. Maybe they hit the rook again. Put this playing on the, the pin. Maybe that. This. This. Swing over. I don't know. This, like, he should be able to defend this position fairly easily. I just take the pawn. Yeah. This, though. No, I can't do that. It's pinned. Yeah, there's really nothing for me here. Uh, let's try this. I, I don't know. Here. Can I trap the queen? Not really. Again, they're just looking for trades and winning material. Uh, Alright, we're just going to have to play quick. It's our only hope. <laughs> so it's supposed to be an instructive series, Rubik's Cube. What did I do? I just blundered a check, didn't I? Damn it. Damn it. Oh, and I hang my rook. Uh, uh, this, this. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's this now. Fork. He sees it. This guy is not even, he's not even a 1200 either. Okay, he gets, uh, he's coming up now, isn't he? Deceived by his rating a little bit, guys, if I'm honest. 1200. <sighs> We've got this. If only we had like a dark square bishop. Uh, but it looks, it looks scary. <sighs> What's he doing? Alright, we push a pawn. <laughs> I guess he just does this. Oh, that wins my queen. I think uh, I think we can resign at this point. <laughs> Five blunders. So my f my the other game I just played. I think the fifth day I did I recorded first. I was what was I ninety percent accuracy here? I must be like twenty, maybe maybe forty. Not good. Not very Christmassy Rubik's cube. See, I quite like this, but this whole taking here, I just thought was very average, as the engine says. Here, why was this so bad? It says they can just play this, and they're, oh, they're just going for the square. Okay, so this was too slow with the queen, and that's such a simple tactic I always fall for. Ah. 
this removing the defender of the central pawn and yeah hope you enjoyed watching me get absolutely destroyed by this uh this 800 rated player probably like a 1400 uh but yeah uh, like and subscribe see you next time cheers